Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everybody in this session. I am Dr. Nasrin Sultana Lavli, Associate Professor of Physiology, Moenamoti Medical College, Kumilla. Today I will start cardiovascular system for first year. First, I would like to give my special thanks to our principal, Sir Professor K. A. Manan, sir, uh, to took such a good initiative steps for you to deliver uh, this online video lecture for you. I think it will be very much beneficial for you. Okay, now I want to go uh, the topics. The contents of item 1, that is cardiovascular system, properties of cardiac muscle, junctional tissues of the heart, generation of cardiac impulse and its conduction in the heart. First, cardiovascular system, components of cardiovascular system, heart, arteries, capillaries and veins. This is one of the common viva questions. What are the components of cardiovascular system? Heart arteries, capillaries and veins. You have to give this answer. The primary function of cardiovascular system, that is primary function, transports nutrients and oxygen to the tissues and removes carbon dioxide and washed products from the tissues. We know that heart always pumps five to six liter of blood per minute. <clears throat> And through this blood, it transports nutrients and oxygen to the tissues and also removes carbon dioxide and waste products from the tissues. <clears throat> Just I want to recall something from your anatomy. That is anatomy of the heart. Heart is a conical muscular organ that's situated in the middle mediastinum in between two lungs. And <clears throat> there are four chambers in the heart, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. And also there are four valves present in, in the heart. <clears throat> in between right atrium and right ventricle, there is tricuspid valve or tri tricuspid valve or atrioventricular valve. And in between left atrium and left ventricle, there is bicuspid valve or mitral valve. In tricuspid valve, why it is called tricuspid? Because here there are three cusp or flaps present in the tricuspid valve, which is anchored to the papillary muscle, which is anchored to the papillary muscle by by in the uh, anchored in the papillary to the papillary muscles in the floor of each ventricle uh, by the uh, fibrous cord like corda tendini. Also, there are two valves present in the pulmonary valve, that is in between right ventricle and pulmonary trunk, there is pulmonary valve and aortic valve present in the left ventricle and aorta. And these two valves are also called semilunar valve because they are like half moon, that is semilunar in nature. <clears throat> What is the functions of valve here? It prevents backflow of blood and also prevents uh, one way, or it also causes the one way direction of blood. Now I want to show you the circulation. There are two types of circulation involved in the in this figure. We are see that we can see here the circulation of heart. Heart is supplied by right coronary artery and left coronary artery which is arise from the ascending aorta. We know these things because already you finished your thorax card, heart and lungs, you finished. Everybody knew all these things that heart is supplied by right and left coronary artery which is the branch of ascending aorta. Now, two types of circulation involved in this heart that is uh, pulmonary circulation or laser circulation and systemic circulation and greater circulation. So, first I have to um, uh, discuss about the systemic circulation. Systemic circ what is systemic circulation or greater circulation? Systemic circulation, see here, started from where? Systemic circulation started from left ventricle. From the left ventricle, then 
up to the right atrium this whole circulation is called uh, systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation started from right ventricle up to the left atrium up to that uh, um, up to that type of circulation is called pulmonary circulation <coughs> Systemic circulation, it gives blood supply to the whole of the system, the tissue level and pulmonary circulation, that is it carries blood from right ventricle to the lungs first for oxygenation purpose, then it comes to the left atrium of the heart, then it comes left ventricle. Pulmonary circulation and or laser circulation, so there are two types of circulation involved in heart. Now, see that this is the characteristics of cardiac muscle. Already we study about, we have studied about skeletal muscle in general physiology. There is something difference uh, with cardiac muscle, with skeletal muscle, but uh, maximum thing are same. In skeletal muscle, we study that uh, in skeletal muscle, there is, uh, skeletal muscles are multinucleated, but here, Cardiac muscle is single nucleated, that is single nucleus present in every cardiac muscle cell. And there is striation and, and T tubules, sarcomia, everything present in skeletal muscle also and cardiac muscle also. Now see the characteristics of cardiac muscle, that is cardiac muscle is involuntary muscle, but skeletal muscle is voluntary muscle. We, we have studied in general physiology that skeletal muscle is voluntary muscle, but cardiac muscle is involuntary, it is not our control. Having cross striation, we know that cross striation, this, these are the cross striation, um, this cross striation due to, uh, due to arrangement of actin and myosin filaments. Cardiac muscle fibers have a single nucleus, but while as in skeletal muscle, they are multinucleated. These are the differences. Sarcomia and T tubules are characteristically present both in skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle. Muscle fibers, uh, cardiac muscle fibers are electrically interconnected because of gap junctions in the intercalated disc. I will show you what is intercalated disc and what is gap junctions later on. But there are no protoplasmic bridges between the cells. Cardiac muscles is functionally syncytial. What is functional syncytium? I will discuss with you later on. Contracts, the cardiac muscles contracts rhythmically in the absence of any external stimuli. Cardiac muscle contain actin, myosin, tropomyosin, troponin and numerous mitochondria and a high content of myoglobin. This is very, very important for your MCQ questions. See here one figure, I gave you that single nucleus present in each cardiac muscle cell and there is intercalated disc, that is dark area, there is dark area in the, uh, in between the cell, there is dark area, this, this is nothing but cell membrane, that is intercalated disc, nothing but cell membrane, in the intercalated disc, there is gap junction, that is permeable uh, pore present here and Electrolyte can easily enter here and uh, diffuse here and action potential can easily spread all over the cardiac muscle. See here again the uh, features of uh, cardiac muscle. See here cross traction present due to arrangement of actin and myosin filament. Single nucleus present here and there is intercalated disc that is all every cell separated by cell membrane. This is intercalated disc and intercalated disc there is uh, pore present. This is called gap junctions through these gap junctions easily electrolytes can diffuse through here. So action potential can easily spread uh, one cell to other cells. So, there is no protoplasmic connection between the cardiac muscles. This is very, very important things for MCQ question. There is no cytoplasmic or protoplasmic connection between the cardiac muscle cell. Whereas, in skeletal muscle, there is, of course, protoplasmic connection present and in skeletal muscle, action potential travels through the chemical synapse, that is neurotransmitter acetylcholine. But here, there is no chemical synapse present here. Here, electrical synapse present because they are connected with each other, every cardiac muscle with electrically. There is no protoplasmic connection between them. So electrical synapse present in the cardiac muscle. This is very, very important MCQ question. 
everything present like our skeletal muscle present in cardiac muscle also that is actin myosin tropomene tropomyosin everything present and contraction relaxation everything occurs there also action potential of cardiac muscle in heart muscle three types of membrane ion channels present here we know you we knew that in general physiology we studied about the action potential of large action potential of cardiac muscle in heart muscle three types of membrane ion channels present first sodium channels slow calcium sodium channels and potassium channels there are three channels present in cardiac muscle but in case of skeletal muscle or large nerve fiber only two channels involved already you knew that things that is in skeletal muscle and and for large nerve fiber first voltage gated sodium channel present for depolarization and voltage gated potassium channel present for repolarization but here see one difference for cardiac muscle there is three channels involved here you have to remember these things one is first voltage gated sodium channel slow calcium sodium channel and voltage gated potassium channel three channels involved here opening of first sodium channels causes the spike portions of the action potential that is depolarization of course we knew the things that first voltage gated sodium channels always causes depolarization or spike portion of the action potential whereas the prolonged opening of slow calcium sodium channel mainly allows calcium ions to enter the fibers which is largely responsible for the plateau portion of the action potential as well that is in cardiac muscle something is different uh, than that of the skeletal muscle action potential and large nerve fiber action potential in large nerve fiber action potential and skeletal muscle action potential there is no plateau phase but here something is different that is plateau portion is present here and this plateau portion occurs due to slow calcium sodium channel you have to remember these things see here the figure from your textbook see here first figure that is that is spike potential that is depolarization for first voltage gated sodium channel then there is something curved portion that is plateau portion for slow calcium sodium channel and that the, the, and after that repeat repolarization that is for the voltage gated potassium channel so in cardiac muscle there is plateau portion present now what is plateau what is the importance of plateau of course i will discuss with you see here again in the x axis in the x axis that is based line is called x axis or abscissa and um, the, the horizontal line this is called y axis or ordinate in x axis there is uh, time that is seconds and y axis this is millivolt now another figure see same thing that is spike potential then plateau portion then repolarization depolarization plateau portion then repolarization this this is the figure of cardiac muscle action potential now what is plateau this is new things for you plateau in cardiac muscle this is new things plateau is a prolonged or sustained period of depolarization which occurs in cardiac muscle remember these things in cardiac muscle plateau present what is plateau plateau is a prolonged or sustained period of depolarization which occurs in cardiac muscle this is the definition of plateau why plateau occurs in cardiac muscle that is causation of plateau in cardiac muscle first cause voltage gated calcium sodium channels which are slower to open but remains open for prolonged period that is voltage gated all gates are here voltage gated that is voltage gated first sodium channel voltage gated slow out calcium sodium channel and voltage gated potassium channel all gated are are voltage gated so first things voltage gated calcium sodium channel which are slow to open but remains open for prolonged period eta ki hobe khulte ektu deri hobe kintu khola thakbe ektu beshi shomoy dhore number 2 voltage gated potassium channel which are slower than to usual open ei 
पटाशियम चैनल खुलते कि एक देरी है यूजल टाइम चाहिए तो देखा जाए जो एक देरी ओपेन है ये देखा जाए प्लाटो फेज एक सस्टेन एक बसिक्षण थे तरह सुविधा कि ह्वाट इज इम्पर्टेंस ह्वाट इज इम्पर्टेंस अब दिस प्लाटो फेज ड्यूरिंग दिस पिरियड ये प्लाटो फेज हे स्लो कैलसियम सोडियम चैनल दैट इज मेनलि कैलसियम आय एंड फ्यू अमाउंट अफ सोडियम अल्सो एंटार्स इन टू द कार्डिय मासल फाइवर्स एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस पिरियड लार्ज क्वान्टिटी अफ बोथ कैलसियम एंड सोडियम आय एंटार्स इन टू द कार्डिय मासल फाइवर एंड दिस मेनटेन्स ए प्रोलंग पिरियड अफ डिपोलारजेशन सो हार्ट कैन पाम अल इट्स ब्लाड एन एक सुविधा कि हल हार्ट एक समय बसि पेल ए हार्ट तर समस्त ब्लाड पाम करते ये प्लाटो फेजर इम्पर्टेंस एखे कि ढुके कैलसियम ढुके ये कैलसियम ह्वाट इज इम्पर्टेंस अफ कैलसियम हेयर कैलसियम कजेज मासकुलर कन्ट्रैक्शन दैट इज कार्डिय मासल कन्ट्रैक्शने हेल्प कर कैलसियम सी हेयर जेनारेशन अफ एक्शन पोटेंसियल और कार्डिय इम्पालस इन दाइनो एक्ट्रियल नोड फार्स्ट यू हाव टू नो ह्वाट इज सैनो एक्ट्रियल नोड सैनो एक्ट्रियल नोड और एस ए नोड इट इज वन टाइप अफ जांगशनल टीस्यू जांगशनल टीस्यू अब दि हार्ट देर आर सो मेनी जांगशनल टीस्यूज अब दि हार्ट दिस दिज आर दोन एज कंडक्टिव सिसटेम फार्स्ट वन इज सैनो एक्ट्रियल नोड सेकेंड वन इज इंटरनोडल पाथवे नम्बर थ्री इज एट्री भेंट्रिकुलर और ए भि नोड दैन बंडल अफ हिज दैन पार्किंजी फाइवर्स दिज आर दांगशनल टीस्यूज अब दि हार्ट जेनारेशन अफ एक्शन पोटेंसियल और कार्डिय इम्पालस इन दाइनोट्रियल नोट दिस इज वन अब द भेरि इम्पर्टेंट रिटर्न क्वेश्चन फर यू फार्स्ट कार्डिय इम्पालस इज जेनारेटेड इन दाइनोट्रियल नोट अटोमेटिकली एंड रिदमिकली उल नो दैट इन थोरक्स अलरेडी यू हाव स्टाडी आई थिंक दिस एस ए नोट दैट इज वायर इज द लोकेशन अफ एस ए नोट एस ए नोट इज सीचुएटेड इन द जांगशन विटुईन द रईट एट्रियम एंड ओपेंग अफ द सुपिरियर भैनाकाबा एंड दिस एस ए नोट दिस जांगशनल टीस्यू कैन जेनारेट इट इम्पालस अटोमेटिकली एंड रिदमिकली वाई बिकज डि टू इज इनहरेंट लिकनेस टू अब द सैनस नोडल फाइवर्स टू सोडियम एंड कैलसियम आय इट हेज इनहरेंट लिकनेस तर देखा जाए जा सब समय एक इनहरेंट लिकनेस था सोडियम और कैलसियम आय एखे ढुकते परे द रेस्टिंग मेमरेंट पोटेंशियल अफ दस नोडल फाइवर्स इज ओनलि माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव टू माइनस सिक्सटी मिली वोल्ट दैट इज लेस नेगेटिव रेस्टिंग मेमरेंट पोटेंशियल इज लेस नेगेटिव सो द फार्स्ट सोडियम चैनल रिमेन्स मेनलि इनेक्टिव सो द फार्स्ट सोडियम चैनल रिमेन्स इनेक्टिव ओनलि द स्लो कैलसियम सोडियम चैनल कैन ओपेन इन द एस ए नोट दैट इज फार्स्ट इन केस अफ एस ए नोट दैर इज डिफरेंस अफ कार्डिय मासल एक्शन पोटेंसियल एंड एस ए नोडल एक्शन पोटेंसियल इन कार्डिय मासल एक्शन पोटेंसियल अलरेडी आई हेव टोल्ड यू दैट देर आर थ्री चैनल प्रेजेंट हेयर फार्स्ट भोल्टेज गेटेड सोडियम चैनल एंड नम्बर टू भोल्टेज गेटेड स्लो कैलसियम सोडियम चैनल एंड नम्बर थ्री भोल्टेज गेटेड पोटेशियम चैनल बाट इन केस अफ एस ए नोट देर इज सामथिंग डिफरेंस इज हेयर वन डिफरेंस इज चैनल दैट इज फार्स्ट सोडियम चैनल भोल्टेज गेटेड सोडियम चैनल मेनलि इनएक्टिवेटेड हेयर हेयर स्लो कैलसियम चैनल ओपेन इन द एस ए नोट दैट इज हेयर डिपोलारजेशन अकार्स डिव टू कैलसियम मेनलि फर कैलसियम चैनल एंड रिपोलारजेशन बै भोल्टेज गेटेड पटेशियम चैनल सी हेयर मेकानिजम अफ एस ए नोडाल रिदमिक सीटी दैट इज एक्शन पोटेंसियल इन एस ए नोट दैट इज इन जांगशनल टीस्यू डिपोलारजेशन अलरेडी आई मेन्शन यू दैट डिपोलारजेशन इज डिव टू इनफ्लक्स अफ कैलसियम एंड सोडियम मेनलि कैलसियम Mainly calcium. Always remember that in S nodal uh, depolarization, mainly depolarization occurs due to calcium and little contribution of so sodium here. Repolarization also influx of potassium through the voltage gated potassium channel. And this depolarization due to influx of voltage gated calcium sodium channel, mainly calcium and little contribution of sodium here. See here the figure of S nodal action potential. This is the this is the two figures here S nodal 
rhythmical discharge of S nodal and also action potential in the cardiac muscle that is ventricular muscle fiber. In ventricular muscle, blue one is ventricular muscle fiber action potential. See here, rapid depolarization due to voltage gated first sodium channel, then plateau phase due to uh, fast uh, due to slow sodium calcium channel and repolarization, sharp repolarization due to voltage gated potassium channel. That is three channels involved in cardiac muscle fiber that is ventricular muscle fiber. But red one is S nodal action potential. There is two channels involved here that is mainly here calcium channel involved. That is this calcium channel also called transient calcium channel. This